Well, in 2015, two Islamic extremists attacked a Muhammad cartoon contest in Garland, Texas. Fortunately, they were both killed by police before they killed anyone else. But it easily could have been a massacre, and it would have been thanks, believe it or not, to the FBI. An undercover agent egged on those attackers. He traveled with them to the attack site and then fled when the attack began. No effort was made by the FBI to stop the terrorists, and no warning was given to local police. Bruce Joyner was a security guard on the scene that day. He was shot in the attack. Not surprisingly, he's suing the FBI. He joins us tonight along with his attorney, Trenton Samuels. Um, thanks both very much for joining us. Uh, Bruce Joyner, first to you. It, this story is so incredible. It's so hard to believe that the FBI would have participated in something like that. I want to make sure I'm not misstating the facts in the open. Is that correct? An FBI agent accompanied these guys to the scene of the shooting? Yes, uh, he was in a vehicle behind their vehicle. And Tucker, we also know that he was taking a picture at the exact spot of the shooting, in fact, of Bruce Joyner, seconds before the shooting broke out. So what could possibly, and, and again, this story's been around for several years, but it hasn't really penetrated, I don't think, to the extent it should, into the public consciousness. What would possibly be the reason for the FBI knowing a terror attack was going to take place and allowing it to happen anyway. Well, T Tucker, what's interesting about it is the FBI and their court filings uh, have said this this wasn't a rogue agent. This wasn't you know someone that went off uh, off of policy. He acted exactly according to their directions uh, from the top down. And uh, you know, and it's troubling because from the top down, we've seen problems uh, with this story. Uh, Jim Comey, shortly after the t attack, said that these guys were like needles in a haystack, and no way were they on the radar of the FBI. When in fact, Elton Simpson, one of the two shooters, had been followed, had been monitored for years by the FBI. Hundreds of thousands of dollars had been spent investigating the exact individual who later carried on an attack uh, like the one that that they thought many years ago would take place. So, so um, come on, come it, just it's odd. About it, it's right? odd for sure. So that's what it seems like. Uh, it, yeah, it sure does seem that way. So who, what's the identity of this FBI agent who was at the scene? So that they went through painstaking efforts to keep his identity secret. And in fact, he's he just recently testified in a in a related uh, trial in Cleveland. And uh, they cleared the courtroom. They took an unusual step in not allowing even any witnesses to watch him testify. Uh, you had to listen in via audio from uh, the next room over. So uh, he is he is their guy. I mean, they have they have owned him uh, from start to finish. And from our perspective, it's a problem when he's the same guy who told these terrorists to tear up Texas uh, days before the attack. He then seemingly is escorting them, holding their hand all the way to the attack, and then he's taking a picture uh, when the attack takes place, and he tries well, to flee. And, and I mean, it's, well, it's, it's a very strange I mean, look, the, fact. The, the whole point of this is to prevent terror attacks, and now we're sitting in the presence of a man who was shot in a terror attack, an American. Bruce, I mean, you were shot. How do you, what's yes. your reaction to this? Does it seem like the country you grew up in? Uh, no, this is, I'm former law enforcement, and this is not how you run undercover anything. Um, there, you have to have control of the situation and make sure that no innocent people are harmed. Uh, and so this is, this is not normal. Have, have they, in, in uh, wait, let me just ask the obvious question, which I should have started with. Have they apologized to you since you were shot in this no. operation? No. N no, in no way have they apologized. No. no. That's disgusting. Gentlemen, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot to this that I don't understand, but to the extent I do, I really wish you luck in this lawsuit. I, I think all of us deserve to know what exactly happened. So Godspeed. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Tucker.